Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at this thing, the OLED Music Spectrum Display, which is a little tiny screen. It's kind of like a little computer. You give it five volts and you give it an audio signal and it'll, it'll do all sorts of little spectrum and waveform displays. And, uh, it has cool. a clock on it. Yeah, it has a clock too. It was $11.45 including shipping. Here's what comes in the box. You got this tiny little screen and a couple of wires. It's actually six wires. Just to put it in perspective, here's how it looks compared to my Fitbit. It's actually a smaller screen than the Fitbit. And there's a Garfield ruler we always use. So it's about, you know, maybe three centimeters wide, including the circuit board. But first thing we had to do is figure out the pinout. So this diagram on the website shows five volts being kind of opposite that green screen protector tab, but that turns out to be wrong. On the back of the board, it shows the five volt thing close to the tab. So who do you trust? Well, I trusted what was on the board and it turned out to be right. Just a word of warning, the, the pinout on AliExpress is wrong. So what do we do to hook it up? We got uh, the wires that came with it. We hooked up the to AliExpress. It. If you're watching, just correct that. Okay. And it shows that website and then it shows that there's actually some noise being generated for the fact that I don't have the ground and I don't have very good power supply. Switch power supplies. Anyway, the website that shows on the home screen shows the correct pinout and it shows a hookup diagram, that 2CHE, whatever. So I hooked it up to some audio using uh, this little Thanks thing. Thanks to AliExpress, I also got some LED strips. Oh yeah. It has two switches that let you change the mode and you can see that, that green bar moving. I'm activating the switch and setting the clock. So let's hook uh, some audio sound up to it and see what happens. So we put in that. Put the tape, tape. And there it goes. So it's got a pretty decent display. It's got the little spectrum display and uh, we're going to run a um, test. Yeah. Of course, uh, Ooh, yellow. here's a little bit closer up view of it. If you leave it uh, stopped for about five or six seconds, it'll revert to the time. And it's a 24 hour clock. And I guess those are some sort of Chinese symbols. I couldn't find a way to change the language. When you start the music, the display starts back up instantly. It's got that cool little thing. It looks kind of like dots falling and that's like a little delay on the peak levels or something. Uh, here is a uh, frequency sweep. I wish there was a way to adjust this so that we could do more, you know, the... It seems like the... If, you, if you'll see this video, most of the display is on the left for the lower end of the spectrum. One question I had about this thing is it looked like, if you noticed earlier, it looked like there was a battery on the back of it. So I thought, okay, if I kill the power, will it remember the time and all that stuff? And uh, so let's give that a try. Did it? Unfortunately, uh, you know, so there's the time. So let's uh, kill the power and see what happens. Pew. Uh, and then we plug it back in. And, and the answer is uh, going to be, unfortunately, no. Now, so again, it resets the time. But when I kick off the music, it seems to remember that I was in the blue mode or whatever. Which, that's unfortunate because, you know, you're going to be cutting the power off to this thing. I don't see a way to put any standby power on there. I don't know if the battery's dead or what, but that is a bit disappointing that it doesn't seem to remember the time. And the battery didn't look like it easily popped out of there, so I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Anyway, so now let's run through some YouTube tracks and uh, see how it behaves in its various modes. Yeah, I, I like I like the spectrum of display. I guess my complaint would be on the on the waveform display is too sensitive. It's so easy to max it out and then it just becomes a solid uh, blob. And on on these other modes, they're a lot better. But everything is so shifted toward the left end of the screen. I wish there was some way to make like you know 16 16 kilohertz the right end and then maybe also kind of adjust the you know the level.
So what are we going to use this thing for? We're going to use it for the Fakintosh. If you remember in an earlier video, we did sort of a DIY. Who's that puppy dog coming in there? We, ah. did, <laughs> we did sort of a do your own 1970s receiver. And so one of the things the 70s receiver has is some sort of gratuitous light display. So we made that little Oh, no! It's a puppy dog attack. Yeah. Anyway, so we took that sign out. And what we're going to do is we're going to mount the little display in that little window. And first thing we did was drill a hole. We're going to put a dowel rod in there. And uh, we actually made it a lot simpler. We used that, that sort of black whatever crafting material and just stuck all the things in there. And so uh, here's kind of the unve unveiling. Here's what it looked like before. Here's what it looks like with the new display. So that looks a lot. Model uh, one. Yes, the fake Tosh model one. I think it gets more of those clear labels and label all the things. We also put the the blue light below the. AC Mem ACB Memphis Tech. Yes, it's it's a very uh, discerning audio company there. In the back, I mounted a couple of push buttons, so you can just hit those push buttons and you can cycle through the various modes or set the time or whatever. So I can still access that even though the cabinet is closed. On uh, AliExpress, we saw some big ones that fit TVs. Yeah, there are a lot of different of these little displays uh, available on AliExpress. Uh, the main differentiating factor of this one is it's multicolor and stereo. So I guess in conclusion, it's uh, kind of a cool little add-on. Um, I, I wish there were some more adjustments that you could do to it. I wish it remembered the time, but, you know, it was a fun afternoon project. What do you think? Good. Good? That's all I got to say? Good? Good. Good. Okay, well, Good. that's about it. I guess we'll uh, see you next time. For... See you next time for another video.